Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you different uh, video edit, video rendering softwares you can use to so make your files smaller, or in one case, sometimes make them look a bit nicer. So, first one you're going to want to try out is Handbrake or Handbrake.fr. And Handbrake is really good because it's one, it's free, and two, it is still able to do everything. I make it look um, nearly just as good. Of course, it's not going to be perfect, but it can look just as good. And I'll just show you it. So you want to download it first and you know install it. And here you've got many different options. So you can get a source, and you can change things. When you get a video, you can change the constant quality. And like here, different. You know, just. Apparently, sends about 25, or theoretically, you can go higher and higher and higher and higher. And saying warning, zero RF zero is lossless. So maybe you want to set it about 20 or 15 or maybe 25. You don't want it that great, but you can set it at such quality so that you try and keep it as much as possible. So you can mess around with these settings as much as you want. And audio, you can just keep it as, as it is because audio, is, unless you are worried about the audio, keep it as it is. And then when you start it, generally I found I'd be able to get a gigabyte file size down to about five megabytes. A bit of um, uh, loss in quality, which is pretty, which is really quite good. The next is Camtasia Studio. Now one, this also comes with a screen recorder. Two, this is paid though. You can find the cracks out there if you want to try and get it for free, but it does cost money if you don't. And again, you just drag your thing. Uh, your to the track one, do producing share. Oh, I'll just okay, I'll just drag something. Copy there, and you want to then from here, producing share, and you can change things. So if you want to go to 1080p, or you can even make custom production settings. So you can do custom. You can just say, I would always recommend do MP4 though. Um, and then you can just change lots of different things with custom, or simply if you want, you can just go to the standard maybe MP4 t and 1080p. And I found that when you get close up things, like with to do with cancel, maybe the pixels around one of these icons, then yes, you do lose a bit of quality. Same with. Um, Handbrake, similar type of quality loss. But with Camtasia, once I just say finished recording this video, for example, I will know I will not want to edit, uh, render it straight away because then you only have a 720p option. You want to save it first, then render afterwards, which is kind of strange, but yeah. And also, with like this, you can add videos one after each other to make it, you know, sometimes to be very good to make um, videos join together. And you might want, and especially that's good if you want to put lots of videos together and then render them afterwards. Because the next one I'm showing you, Sony Vegas, when you do that, sometimes it will increase the file size slightly, just so that it can definitely keep every every bit of quality there keeps every last single thing, whereas here, for example, you might lose a little bit if you're putting lots of file sizes together. So then, finally, Sony Vegas Pro. I will put links uh, to all the downloads in the description below, but for Vegas Pro, you have to make an account to download it. I think possibly for Camtasia as well, but I'm not too sure. Okay, so... Here's... Here it is. So I move it and I just drag on. Yes, you always click yes, and then you got this. And so far, okay, that's not like good quality. That's just the beginning. And here as well, you can drag on videos onto the end of it, if you uh, if you so need to. Oops. Just drag. Then you file. You can save it as or. You can render as import or e export, and you know, 
you can do different types of things with it, really. But there's many different things. It's also capture video, extract audio from CD, and I'm guessing the extract audio from CD is just very high quality extraction, rather than you just dragging and dropping. So render as, and this one's the most difficult because here if I've gone, if I minimise this, you have ridiculous amounts of options. Now if it's just audio, you might want to choose FLAC because FLAC is lossless and you can choose how lossless going up to about I think here, I'm not sure though. Uh, mine is at 48,000 but yeah. And then you have all these other options and pretty much as far as I'm aware most of them are really useless. They don't actually contribute much to it and it's just very frustrating to have. But there are files like MP4 and uh, where was AVI, which and possibly you know Wave as well, um, which can play. And AVI though is the highest quality. Um, it's the highest quality file you want. So if you want to really keep the quality, AVI could be a way to go. There's also MP4, which I think will. I'm not sure. I think you do. You do lose. Or you can lose a bit of you can lose the file size as well, um, but then it all, all depends as well. So but definitely wave. I'm pretty sure you do lose. Um, actually, not for wave, is it? Uh, there's another one then. Uh, WMV, sorry. Uh, you do lose definitely a significantly chunk of your file data, but just mess around with it, have a go, and I would definitely also suggest in about no. Nope, where is it? I think it's more filter options. Oh, here's more options, but... I'm not sure where it is then, but there's an also an option to use your GPU, which is what I do, just simply because uh, it's, I found it's actually quite, it's like half the time, it takes half the time to use your GPU as well, if you have a good GPU. So yeah, that's worth it. But otherwise here, MP4, good quality MP4, 60, um, you know, 35 megabytes per second is a bit over the top, I think. So you might want to go to 25 megabytes per second, 1080p if you can. Or here, MP4. Here it says MX, and so you just look up here. So here it's MXF. But maybe at the bottom it goes to MXF again, sorry. And about here it's um, MP4. So maybe only MP4. But I only need 25 frames per second. I only need 50, that's just going to make it stupid. Be much like mine only recorded in 30, so 25. And yeah. And then same thing, just mess around, have a look at which ones you think would su su uh, suit you best. As you can see, most of them are pretty useless. Although, look, Sony Tablet, that's just basically saying 1080p MP4. And there's Internet Video, which is what I've used. We could actually increase the file size slightly. But yeah, and there's Blu-ray. So they're, they're just making the... Blu-ray is just going to make the thing better and better. But yeah, otherwise just mess around the settings and do it how you would like to do it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, rate, subscribe, share to friends. Or, uh, or click the subscribe button on the screen here. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.